Okay, so I wanted to talk a little bit about tear staining um, with the Shih Tzu. It's really kind of a hot topic and it's a problem that many of us are facing. Um, I've talked about before what I do to clean the face around the eyes, the beard, the mustache, um, essentially making sure that the facial area is dry is key to combating tear staining. Um, tear staining is when around the dog's eyes and the facial hair becomes a red clay color. Um, Miss Ellie's had a big problem in the past with tear staining and it drove me crazy. But right now she's fine. There's no staining going on. But you'll know it um, because the facial area of the dog and sometimes around the dog's private area, the hair will turn a red clay color. Now there's a few reasons why tear staining happens. Um, one reason is because the facial area is moist, which breeds bacteria and yeast and turns the hair red. Another reason could be an allergy, could be a food allergy. Um, I found that what you feed your dog is goes hand in hand with the tear stain problem. And in fact, for us, Miss Ellie was staining because of the food. And I was feeding her blue buffalo, which is all natural ingredients. It's a top rated dog food. And I thought, because it was one of the best foods on the market, that that wasn't the problem with the tear staining. Until I started eliminating factors and I found out that the food was causing the tear stains. So I stopped the food and now I feed them the Purina Pro, Pro Plan. And within a week, the hair started to grow back white and there wasn't any staining. So <clears throat> my suggestion, if you have a tear stain issue, is to talk to your vet because they can do a blood test for, um, they can do a test for yeast, for yeast infection. That would be the first step. I suggest putting the dog on a all-natural grain-free dog food. Um, and also you want to keep the facial area clean. <clears throat> you wait. Okay, so one, one method that I use to keep her face dry is I purchased a water bottle stand. And what this does is they get a drink from the little spout at the end of the stand. It cost me like, I don't know when I say $80. It was a little expensive. But the water spout prevents them from sticking their whole face in the water bowl, which when the facial area is left wet, you will have tear stains. It was a really good investment. My cat drinks from it, the bigger dogs. I bought this one at the home thing, but you can also find them at Mr. Fu Shih Tzu and some other, some other places. It's a really good investment. You wanna take away the water bowl and you wanna use a water fountain. There are a couple of ways that you can clean the facial area, which I've reviewed before. You can use a pet wipe, which has a drying agent, will keep the area dry. Some people like to use contact solution on a cotton ball because it disinfects and it has enzymes in it. I find they do the same thing, warm water, contact solution, a pet wipe. Um, the stains don't just immediately come out. You gotta work them out layer by layer, which does take a lot of time, but cleaning around the facial area 
is really a good thing to eliminate and prevent stains. Now, when you have the staining, there's no one miracle method out there that's going to immediately take the red out of the dog's face. But however, washing the area weekly does help layer by layer to remove the stains. You can use a product like Pro Eyes or Angel Eyes. Sometimes they have antibiotics into them. You sprinkle it into their food. Um, I, my vet was a fi was fifty fifty. He wasn't crazy about it. He didn't think it works, and neither do I. Um, I found that somebody suggested adding a little bit of buttermilk powder into their food every day changes the like chemical makeup somehow. Um, but in any event. It's supposed to change the pH balance of the dog. However, you are adding a little bit of extra fat into the diet. I talked to my vet who said that I could try it. And while we were combating the tear stains, I did put a little bit of buttermilk powder in their dog food. Okay, so... I have a couple of tips for hiding the stains while you're working to clear them up. I want to say you have to grow the hair out. I didn't want to trim the hair because I like them long. I chose to hide the stains, prevent staining, and I let the hair grow. So every night after I cleaned her face, I would rub cornstarch around her eyes into her whiskers just to help keep her dry. Cornstarch can also be used to hide the stains. So if you have pictures, you want to go for pictures, they're just overall bothering you, you have company, whatever the case may be, cornstarch is going to help hide these stains. So I have just a little bowl, a snack bowl, like you could put crackers in it. And it's, it's really good for my purpose. So I just have, I don't think it's a teaspoon, I think it's smaller. Um, I usually use a plastic baby spoon that you would use to feed an infant, but I've lost it. So I usually just scoop a little bit into my container. And I also have white milk of magnesia. This is pretty much the glue for the, the cornstarch. When it dries, it's going to hold the cornstarch corn onto the facial area. And you need a also a teaspoon. I have to shake it up. You need a teaspoon of the white milk of magnesia. You might need to if you have a little bit more cornstarch. The idea, the idea is you want to make a paste out of it. It literally needs to be the consistency of like toothpaste. And you can use a toothbrush. I just like to use my fingers. To work it into the area that has the tear stain. You want to rub it in. It's really sticky. It's a little messy. But you want to put enough. You know, you don't want to get it in their eyes or in their mouth. But you want to put enough where it completely coats the area that's stained. Okay. And when that dries, it, it's like a glue. It dries hard. And then I like to leave it overnight. 
when they're sleeping, not moving around. It's just going to help ensure that the, the paste stays into her whiskers. And you can take your face comb to make sure it's all worked in. And then you let it dry overnight. When you brush it out, it's going to minimize the appearance of the te tear stains. Um, it won't last you all day, two days. You'll get through, depending on how active the dog is, you might get through half a day to a whole day with coverage. And it's going to help the face to be white again. If you know, Especially if your dog has a white face. Now like Stewie where his face is black, he tear stains and it turns brown. So in that case, you don't want to whiten the face. Um, you can still use your milk of magnesia and your cornstarch to dry the facial area. It's going to help keep it dry. But especially if you have a white face, this is going to be excellent to hide the stains because when it's dry, turns into like a powder in the beard, you brush it out and your dog's face is white again. Now, for Miss Ellie, the stains really bothered me. It made me crazy. So I bought this product um, from Crown Royale. It's a whitener. Now, it removes the tear stains. I'm gonna say several shades lighter per application. I don't like to use it too much because it does dry the whiskers out. It makes them dry, it makes them brittle. Um, you could be prone to breakage. But in the beginning, I used two applications, maybe a week apart, and it pulled, I wanna say, 50% of the staining out, enough where I was happy that when I used the cornstarch, I could hide it. And you definitely don't wanna use it on a color, um, only if you have a Shih Tzu with a white face. So what this is gonna call for is pretty much equal parts of powder to equal parts <clears throat> a cream developer. Um, I found it at Sally's Beauty Supply. It's got peroxide in it. So, you know, I would use my container, pour a teaspoon of powder, pour a teaspoon of the cream developer, mix it together in the same fashion and make a paste. And then I'm going to apply it to her facial area and let that dry overnight and you brush it out. Now, <clears throat> it did, after two applications, it did remove about 50% of the staining. You're never going to get 100% of it out. It's going to have to grow out over time. But it really helped me to be happy with the dog's appearance because I kind of felt like I wasn't taking care of her because she was stained. And I mean, that's really not the case, but I wanted to pull some of the color out. And the color is just going to have to come out over time. By keeping the dog's face dry and clean, that is going to be your best weapon to fight the tear staining. So, you know, I guess if anybody has any questions, feel free to contact us. And, you know, I just want to emphasize, really look into what you're feeding your dog because you may think it's a high-end product, but there's something in it that's causing the staining. And, you know, that's it. So have a great day.